Good morning, traders. We're heading into the APAC session with a US dollar being mildly bid in uh, Monday's session over there. It's uh, ahead of a very busy calendar for the rest of the week. Um, dollar index rose to high of around 104.26, testing its trend line resistance there before pairing back to finish the session modestly in the green. DXY continued to trade in that tight range, really, between 200-day moving average to the downside there and uh, the resistance at around 104.25 to the upside. So US dollar traders will have a very busy week going forward, starting with today's CPI and tomorrow at PPI and, of course, the FOMC meeting. Um, Japanese yen was a big mover. We're d dumping, really, after Bloomberg report that... Uh, BOJ sources had said that they see little need to end negative rates in their December meeting. So that saw rate markets rapidly repriced what would had been a 20% chance of a 0.1% of a hike uh, down to just 5%. So that, that basically translated to a, a, a pretty big short squeeze in uh, dollar yen uh, as the carry traders flooded back into that pair. Uh, but saw, saw it rally to a high there, one of 146.46. Gold, uh, very weak as well. Another down day, another big down day. XAU USD dropping almost $30 US an ounce, breaking through that you know, psychological 2000 level really and hitting our three wheat lows. So uh, gold now sitting on its 50% 50, 50 FIB retracement from that um, big move up we saw the other day. Uh, the, uh, the next support really below this would be probably around that 1950 level where you see the 200-day moving average and the 61.8 FIB level. Um, ahead today, the real data starts starting with US CPI, where it's, uh, the year-on-year -year figure is expected to moderate to 3.1% from the previous reading of 32